So I'm using uh, for the highlights for the color, for the um, greens around the door and the pot. Uh, colors I'm using: sap green, cadmium red, medium or light doesn't matter. Alizarin crimson, white, and cadmium yellow light. Now we can add yellow ochre if we want to change the color, but for now, this is what we're going to use. So we'll try to mix, let's say, uh, lizarin or red with a bit of yellow to make it more orangey and then, you know, mix it with a bit of green. So we'll, we'll play around with the colors once we start highlighting. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use, I want to show both. Oh, that's good. Okay. Let's see. Let's try. So I'm going to start with highlighting medium tone the flowers. So that will give me a kind of a basic idea where the flowers are going to be. Because right now I only have alizarin crimson and or I think alizarin crimson mixed maybe with red, but it's there. It's quite dark right now. So I'm taking a bit of cadmium red, mix it with alizarin. The reason I'm doing this, why I'm using uh, cadmium red with alizarin crimson is just, I want the pink to be a bit more vibrant when I add white. So if I use alizarin crimson only, and I put white with it, it's nice. It's a beautiful color. It's, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's a bit too muted. It's not vibrant. Um, so if I use, if I add, cadmium red light or cadmium red medium with alizarin and then I highlight, my color is a bit more vibrant, brighter, not, not brighter in value, vibrant. So I'm gonna take, I'm taking, uh, using a small uh, bright or flat. You're welcome to use any, any brush you like, you know, round, flat, anything that you like. And I'm gonna start, with the corner of my brush. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna start highlighting from this side. So I'm looking at that, I am looking at the reference right now. I'm watching the reference. I'm gonna, not gonna do exactly the same, but you know, I'm just gonna follow a bit what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing dots, a little bit of small ones here. Then I'm seeing strong and I, I am not painting a flower I'm painting a specific flower I'm painting I'm putting a shape with the corner of my brush I'm dabbing I'm gonna turn around turn the brush around so I can see there's a cluster in there here so flowers are like this they're clustered and then um, you, have, you see a cluster and then you see a couple that are, or a smaller, let's say smaller cluster, big cluster, smaller one. And we're gonna highlight more. Okay, I'm keeping an eye when I'm doing this. I'm always keeping an eye on what the shape, the shape I'm, I'm, I'm creating with, with this highlight. A couple of little ones here. And then another cluster. Even if your, your paint is thick, that's okay. Don't try to make it thinner. That's good. Okay, let's push this up a bit. Down. 
down. Perfect. Okay, good. I'm going to put a couple down here. You're welcome to put any color you like on these. It doesn't have to be a specific color on the pot. And it doesn't have to be a specific color for the ones above the door. It just, um, I think these colors go well with the wall and the uh, door. Okay, not too much here. Maybe we'll put a couple here. Okay, good. Now, I'll stop so you have time to do that. And then we come go back and highlight the greens. All right, so now we're gonna start with green. So I'm taking green, that's sap green right there. And I'm gonna put a touch of red in it. Could be very small amount of red, right? just to make it more, you know, olive instead of just the green sap green that comes out of the uh, tube. Right there. And then cadmium red light, uh, cadmium yellow light. Don't go too light because we now have we need room for highlights. This is mid-tone. All right, that looks good because it's going to dry darker anyway. And it's the same. Again, I'm going to be looking at the reference and I'm going to start. So most of the time, the highlight is up. Whatever is under is not that light, except for a couple of leaves. But most of the time, the strong highlight is up. So, okay, with the corner of my brush, dabbing, sometimes what I'm doing is just dabbing and dragging. Dab, drag or dab to change the, that's simply to change the shape. So not all of the leaves look the same. Now, usually when I get to this part where you see the wall and I wanna extend my green out, this is when you start seeing the shape of the leaf. When the leaf most of the time is against the dark uh, leaves, you know, when you're highlighting and you're putting it against the dark here, you really don't need to show the shape of the leaf that much. You're, you're putting just values, you're changing the values. Once you start getting here where the wall is, you know, most of, most of the time you wanna to try to show something there. Okay, now I'm trying to make sure that my movement, the shape I'm creating here is organic. A couple of floating ones. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna bring down, this is medium tone. It's gonna to dry darker. I'm gonna bring a couple down here. Overlap maybe a bit with the door. It just cuts that line of the, the line of the frame. Load again. Load. Leon, can you repeat the colors again, please? Sure. Sap green. Put a bit, a bit of alizarin crimson in your sap green to make it more earthy, like a, a green, a, an earthy green. Just a bit with the corner of your brush, mix some uh, red alizarin crimson with your green, and then cadmium yellow light. So 
So when I put this medium tone, I don't try, I'm not trying to cover the darks completely. I need to see those darks, dark greens, because that dark green creates depth. I will change the shape if I go over, let's say in this area and I have too many, too much of the greens, like it's like a flat, that's okay. I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna be highlighting all that. I don't have to do, I don't have to change it right now. Load my brush. You know, when you have those alizarin crimson flowers that we put the first layer, the first layer we'll put here with the alizarin crimson, um, some of them I haven't highlighted. I left them. I didn't highlight all of the alizarin crimson because some of them will be in the dark in real life. And you look at them, you will see dark, green, dark red in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to highlight the whole thing, all of the, the reds. I will highlight most of the red, but not all of it. Highlight this part or not, I mean, put some greens over this, this part here, the twigs. The pot. Trying not to cover this area here, down here. All right, that's medium tone. That's good, we're getting there. All right, let's highlight the pink. So I'm gonna take alizarin crimson, put some red. So we bring back the vibrancy into this pink when we highlight it with white. Add white. That's pink now. This is a pink, like the strong, strong pink. 
and Sorry, there say, be... that, say that again red and alizarin and white yeah exactly so this is this is not the last highlight they will there, there's another step where i'm going to add more white and this is now uh, lighter than the medium tone that i have there so i'm going to start with this part oh that's a beautiful color beautiful So you see what I'm doing is I'm highlighting green and then I'm highlighting pink, green, pink. So this way I can gauge where the highlights should be and how they're looking in comparison to each other. So this way I know I'm not going too light with the green or I'm not going too light with the pink, um, slowly. I'm trying. So what I'm doing is I'm using my the corner of my brush and I'm doing this. And you see my brush stroke is going in the same direction. So what I'm doing now, I I I turn my brush around. Same thing, corner of my brush. So I do this, I'm doing this. It's almost like the, the leaf, but then because I'm doing the same, I'm going in the same direction, I turn my brush around and use the other corner and that will change shape. The brush is a flat one. Yeah. You, you, you can try other brushes and see if you like, you know, you can try the round if you want, see if you like it better. Because we're not, I am not painting a specific leaf. It's too far away to put detail in here. Uh, we're just painting shapes. Some of them are small dots. You know what, I'm gonna change the color of the red here. So I'm not gonna do the same. This is pink, which is fine. And, and uh, I, you know, perfect, I like that. I don't wanna overdo it with the pink. All right, now, clean my brush. Take more white and put it in the pink. That's perfect. Okay, that. Again, let's start highlighting this more. So I find if I find that my colors are mixing too much uh, with the color underneath and becoming like it becoming um, the brush stroke is not clean, then I would stop. That means the color underneath is still wet. So you're taking more more white, right? Yes, yes. I put more white in here now. I'm adding more white, more white in the pink. I'm highlighting more. Mm, nice. Okay, good. 
this is going to dry darker. Yes. But anyway, it gives another. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. It looks good, yes. It would look good when I start highlighting the green too, because right now the pink is stronger than the green, lighter than the green. So it will look great when yeah. the green is highlighted the same. That's okay, I'm gonna put some green in here. I know it looks like a blob right now, but. No, no, it looks fantastic. Well, well thank you. Well, well, I'll just add green over some of them because, uh, or, or, you know, just a couple of little dabs of green here and there. Highlighted green. Excuse me. Oh yeah, it's good. Gonna take some right here. Okay. In my brush, take some green, a sap green, a bit of red. and yellow. And now I'm gonna put more yellow, like a lot of, make it light, light green. Okay, you see? Mm, more. Green, uh, yellow. More yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's green. That's sap green, lizard crimson, and cadmium yellow light. See how yellow is is a. I mean the the yellow green the green. When I put yellow in it, it's an earthy green, not too vibrant, because of the red in it. Oh, that's perfect. Is your pink really light? Because it looks it looks white on the screen. No, no, it's it's not that white. No, no, it's light. It's pink, but it's not white. Is is that what you're seeing on the on the screen? White. It looks very uh, bright. It is bright. It is bright, but it's a it's pink. Think about like a pink any any pink color. It's pink, but it's not white. It is bright, yes. Oh, I shouldn't go there. Shouldn't do it. They're too highlighted here. It's okay. I'll I'll go. I'll add um, dark green in here once it's uh, it's dry. The ones, the small ones in the front, are usually the ones that you see when there is a cluster and there's dark. It's the ones that are in the front and the, the small ones that you, you know, you see like light. Okay, now I'm doing small ones. So my, my small dabs. So my green or my, the shape of my leaves are not exactly the same all over. Load my brush.
you have red in the green as still yeah yeah yes especially it, it, i you know you can see the 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 green when you highlight it this is when you when you need to make sure that you have red in your green otherwise it looks artificial it looks it doesn't look like an earthy green like the real green you see in nature nature green is not that um it's gray in nature okay see this is the cluster where i wanted to make sure okay i i, I really don't want to highlight too much because there's a bit more of yellow coming so i'm highlighting where i see a, a, a cluster of green that's flat from the previous um brush strokes okay i like to do floating ones this is what makes it look interesting and you do very well all right let's do that let's do this side here i know in the reference you don't see it you don't see this this is in the shaded 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 area but I'm going to put a couple because that softens the harsh dark in here. Okay. All right. Now, I, I will wait for this to dry and see if I want to darken it a bit or just keep it just like that. But I'm going to take at this point, take some more yellow in my green and you can see this is like a yellow this is a yellow green so meaning that i have a lot more yellow in my green it's a light light yellow uh, light green i mean more of a yellowy green and i'm gonna come here so instead of putting i'll try to do this instead of putting white in my green but i'm gonna be really careful how much um but my brush stroke here should be, it shouldn't be too strong. Just a couple. Yellow is beautiful with pink too. The sun is so strong in that um, reference so you can see that there's a strong yellow at the top Anything that needs to be adjusted, I'll adjust it right now. Maybe go back to dark a bit, some dark greens in here. If I overdo it with the light. Yeah. I go, go back. back. Yeah, go back with the darks and put them there, put it some put some darks in there. <clears throat> Good. So I mentioned that I would like to keep this, this part, this part. Instead of pink, I'd like to do keep it um, more like a red. So I'm going to start. I'm going to try to use cadmium red light, uh, cadmium red medium, because that's the only red I have here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cadmium it's red nice. medium. It's more orange though, eh? No, that's cadmium red light. That's yes, yes, orange. yes. Orange. By mm. itself, layout. Yeah, this is cadmium red medium. Not, yes. 
Not light. Yes. Yeah, by itself, by itself, yes. Your question is, you know, do I use it by, by itself? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Because if I put white in it, it's going to turn into pink. I don't want it to turn pink. Yes, yes. Yeah. Red. Exactly. Okay. okay, now I'm just going to start highlighting the, the leaves down here too. So if I want to shape of a leaf, a suggestion of a shape of a leaf, I drag my brush down, drag it, push it down, drag, light, different directions. This is going left. A bit right, right. Left. Push, drag. Push, drag. I don't want to overdo it because if I overdo it with the highlights, I will lose the purpose of this highlight. It would be just too much in here. And I would be, what, what happens to is I would cover then, I'd be covering the medium tone and the darks. So there will be no depth. Highlights are usually flat. Kind of, if you add too many highlights, you will get flat 